Newt, what what are you wearing? I thought you said we were doing Mad Max Furry Load. I've clearly watched the wrong movie, and I will be back in two hours. That joke was mediocre! <laughs> <laughs> mediocre! It's time to hack the movies with Tony and Newt and Justin. Well, guys, I'm back. Bad luck again has hit the video store. The uh, nuclear reactor that were that was close by had a meltdown. Uh, they kept telling me to leave. They said, sir, you have to leave. It's not safe here. And I said, I don't trust you. And I didn't listen to the experts. And now I have radiation poisoning and I'm slowly dying. Justin Smart, he's wearing a mask, which people told him to wear. And, Nude, I notice you don't have a mask on? No. He took it off. Yeah, he took it off. Wow. Well, this is the fate you're looking at here. Oh, that's hard to speak. He took off his mask. Oh, J Justin, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> well, it's too late now. You might as well take it off so I can hear what you're saying in this episode. <laughs> I, I, I used to have really long hair, and I don't know how the fuck I used to uh, do that. Because that sucks. <laughs> Newt, Newt, you seem to have a message here in the notes. Oh, well, I didn't. I wasn't supposed to be in this episode because oh. I was taking too long not watching furry porn, as the joke was. Right. By the way, we should probably throw that computer away. <laughs> 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 I saw some things. <laughs> uh, no, I, so I, I changed your notes, and I just said, I'm the Newt Rider. I'm a fuel-injected suicide machine. I'm a rocker. I'm a roller. I'm an out-of-controller. I'm a Newt Rider, baby. That's that's your new Just name from the first riot movie. The itty bitty Ayatollah. Batman and Newt Ryder. Itty bitty. I changed itty bitty Batman in my. Uh, I yeah. saw that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we're talking about Fury Road, that's Mad right. Max Fury Road, and on we're continuing our trend of reviewing movies out of order. To be fair, I know a lot of people who had never seen any of the other ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. I know a lot of people who skipped to Fury Road. Well, considering Fury Road is the best one, who cares? See, Debatable. It's not, it's not that you say it's the best one. Yeah. that That's not what gets me angry. What gets me angry at is you're a fucking bandwagon fan, <laughs> and you think it's the only good one because you're an idiot. I, I can't take you seriously with that makeup on. It's like it's like balled up on your eyes. And stuff. It's pretty funny. Look, our white makeup wasn't the best, and then I didn't realize we had black cream makeup. I was using this makeup stick that has been rotting for two years. So again, our makeup and costume budget has been cut because you guys haven't been including return shipping. In your Dark Knight Rises DVDs. And I definitely didn't bring this suit from home. I looked <laughs> on the prop closet. But yes, Mad Max, Fury Road, <laughs> it's a great film. Some, it is. I, you know what? I wouldn't argue that it's the best Mad Max movie. It's only when idiots say that it's the only good Mad Max movie. You know, idiots like Justin Silverman who thinks movies didn't start being good till Terminator 2. No, since since Dread 2012. <laughs> oh, that you, you keep moving it. the yeah. goalposts. Yeah, the first good movie ever made was Dread. Yep. Oh, okay. And then this was the second. Oh, yeah. right. And then Mad Max Furry wrote. Fur <laughs> yeah, Furry Load. Furry, furry Load. That yeah. was the yeah, third. That's the yeah. third. Yeah. yeah. So George Miller returned to direct this. He did. After doing Happy Feet one and two and producing the Babe, Babe, Babe Pig Babe, in the City, Babe he directed City. the he, second he, one. He, no, he directed the first one. I think he only directed the second one. I think he produced both of them. Really? I'll double check. Maybe okay. I'm wrong. And I'll look like an idiot if how many I'm times, wrong. How many times in the time I've known Tony, I go, that'll do, pig. <laughs> <laughs> you dick. <laughs> so when they announced that they were doing this in 2010, after yeah. a couple failed fourth starts, mm -hmm. uh, they were going to do this with Mel Gibson around 2001. I think something with 9-11 interfered with it. I forget. No, no, I was reading in the notes something about 9-11 delayed the movie from being made. Mm. I'm not sure exactly what that was, but we did not get a fourth Mel Gibson one, which I know Justin is upset about. Hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you not like Mel Gibson? Mel Gibson didn't choose the chosen people <laughs> <laughs> on his favorite list. His... Though he was pretty good recently in Fat Man. Yes, was he, he was good yeah. in that, yeah. I loved him in Daddy's Home 2. You, we were talking about that at the drive-in. Daddy's Home and Daddy's Home 2 are really, really good. Mm -hmm. I did not see the beaver. You never do. <laughs> yeah, so so Mel Gibson's washed up. Yes. 
Uh, but yeah, so George Miller returning. Uh, I got scared because how many times have we been here before? Hey, guys, George Lucas is coming back to do a new Star Wars. Yay. And then it was good because the Internet tells us it was good. But really, it sucked. Uh, and then we got, hey, guys, Steven Spielberg's coming back to do a new Indiana Jones. Yay. Hey, hey guys. Ridley Scott's going to save the Alien series with Prometheus. <laughs> and, and Covenant. And Alien <laughs> Covenant. So, like, uh, when they said George Miller's returning direct, I was like, oh, no. Yeah, because he's like a 70-something-year-old man. And he was mostly doing kids' movies. Yeah, yeah. But I, saw, I saw what doing family entertainment did to Indiana Jones 4, where they couldn't even kill a goddamn monkey. It really made me mad. But then he came back and he was great. Yeah, this was great. This yeah. is one of the only times a returning director actually did a good job well, that's coming back. He's not a scumbag American. He's a <laughs> fucking Aussie, mate. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> Just like Mel Gibson used to be. Uh, Although yeah. he is from New York. Mm -hmm, I yeah. think he's from New York. He did, was not born in Australian. But it is funny that he had the accent and then the accent went away. Yeah. yeah. What's well, like uh, Madonna like became British? Yeah, that was but weird. But she's from Detroit and her last name is Ciccone. Yes, but... Speaking of uh, Indiana Jones, they were smart just getting a new actor to replace Mel Gibson because no one wants to see their uh, childhood heroes be elderly and boring, which is why Indiana Jones 4 sucks. Well, that's Harrison is... Ford's entire career now. Yeah. yeah. And then I saw, I think I mentioned to me. Right. Because Oh, I think we mentioned over the weekend. Now he has dots all over his face in the new uh, pictures from the set. They're going to de-age him. Which they're going to de-age him. But then it's going to be like, wow, that's weird. Young Harrison Ford is walking like current Harrison Ford. Very old and tired. That's going to be bizarre. <laughs> it could be flashback scenes. So so he, he already failed in Star Wars. Blade yeah, Runner. old Han Solo was embarrassing. So Star Wars, Blade Runner, which was okay. I, Blade Runner was okay. I mean, that movie's mediocre, but his performance wasn't. Because, like, even that one fight he had, it was a little bit more realistic. Mm -hmm. Like, he's struggling. That, not like... Star Wars 7, where he's, like, not even aiming, shooting people. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, young Harrison Ford didn't even do that. Ben. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, so I'm glad they just replaced it with a new actor. That was very smart. Heroes should never be old and sad. But Max is, like, he's a conduit to this world. He's not really a character. Yeah. Which is what I always thought worked about these movies, is you yeah. watch... The only one that's from his point of view is about him one. is the first yeah. one. It's like a revenge film, mm -hmm. but like they set it in this almost apocalyptic world, which I think maybe set aside from other revenge he, films. Yeah, because it was like right out of the gate of college for George Miller, right? The yeah. First one. He yeah. was a uh, he was an orderly at a hospital. Right. And they would watch people come in with horrifying motorcycle and car right. crash accidents. And so there's a great documentary uh, called Not Quite Hollywood, and it's about the Australian exploitation market when mm. uh when we were doing when we were putting monster madness together james and i were talking about what should be for each country and i had him watch that documentary before we chose road games over razorback because yeah. i wanted him to kind of get an idea of that era's like exploitation films because car movies in australia are like porn yeah they're like they <laughs> shoot a car like no one else in the world and what's so cool about it was they just had all this huge open yeah. Swaths of I forgot I'm still wearing this. <laughs> this huge swaths open lands, you know, and they would just do all these crazy stunts. And uh, the first movie, like fucking dude, goes over the thing and the motorcycle. He falls off the motorcycle and hits him in the back of the head. Which they, which in Road Warrior, when they flash back to it, they it's make sure the to movie, show you yeah. that again. They're like, no, yeah. that was cool. There's a scene where this motorcycle dude falls off and he gets hit in the head by one of the tires. They took his helmet off after that, and there was blood coming out of his ears and his nose. And what I like about, like, Road Warrior um, and all the other sequels, like, especially Road Warrior and Beyond Thunderdome, which mm -hmm. is the first one I saw. Yeah, me too. Because it played on Joe yep. Bob's Monster mm -hmm. Vision show. Uh, they're told through the eyes of someone else. So after the first movie, they become, like, tall tales or yeah. legends being mm -hmm. told about right. this. That's why there's loose continuity. Like, yeah. he has some of his injuries that carry over. Like, all, all four of them, he gets the knee brace. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes his hand is injured and sometimes his eye is injured, yeah, but then yeah. it's not. So, and in like, Fury Road, you see a lot of psychological damage, mm -hmm. yeah. flashbacks and stuff. And then there's act, there's multiple actors that come back in different roles yeah. because it because doesn't really matter. Because what's real and what's not yeah, like, in this world, like, yeah. you know? Toe Cutter is a Morton Joe. Mm -hmm. There's right. the flyy guy from... Uh, yeah, yeah, he's like a different pilot in Beyond Thunderdome. And then they, some people uh, theorize that the little wild boy is actually Max in Fury Road, right. grown up. Hmm... 
No, because he became the leader of the tribe I know. at the end of that one, but whatever. Maybe he took a couple years off. Look, all I'm saying, Tony, is we don't need another hero. Yeah, that's right. How can we not talk about Lord Humongous's awesome pecs and muscles? <laughs> <laughs> Lord Humongous, who was going to be Max's partner from the first movie, yeah. and then they decided not to. I always wanted to make a Mario Kart movie in the style of Mad Max. I think someone digitally uh, added they, Mar Mario have, Kart And stuff. have Shy Guy be Lord Humongous. <laughs> <laughs> Just, Just walk away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> So, so there were a lot of warning signs that this might be a bad movie. The old director returning. Mm -hmm. They filmed it in 2012 and 2013, and then it didn't come out till 2015. And that was the thing. I remember them saying that it was going to happen. And then uh, they're like, oh, yeah, the guy from Bronson is going to be Mad Max. Mm -hmm. And because at that point, he really wasn't established. established. Yeah. And I was what like, what movie would you say really put him on the map? A movie uh, that's anniversary is actually the day we're recording. Oh, this. Star Trek Nemesis. Yeah, he actually has. He was he was Shinzon Shin because Shinzon. he looks so much like Patrick Stewart, right? Yeah, <laughs> there he is. Well, they they wouldn't even put his face on the cover. Yeah. They dude, imagine fucking Patrick. No, Patrick Stewart was Mad Max. They're driving the Dune buggy. Oh, that's, that's right. right. Boom! He no, cracked the code. Can we cut those together? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a day! <laughs> Data saying that. As we all know, me and Tom Hardy are best friends. As mm -hmm. we co-starred in The Dark Knight Rises. Which I was going to say, because in the MySpace days, you were both bisexual and did a lot of drugs together. <laughs> Those are really funny, his old MySpace yeah. photos. <laughs> Don't say that. Someone's going to look up our old MySpace photos. Uh, can they still access our MySpaces? Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, so it sat on a shelf for like a few years, or they were just editing it. Yeah. Well, and then it, the visual effects in this movie. Yeah. Thank God they waited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they and then it finally came out. Yeah. I was like real nervous. The trailer was awesome. The trailer was awesome. First time you see the fucking Doof Warrior, like yeah. I'm in. And then I saw the movie, and I think I saw it like three times in theaters. Yeah. I fucking I'm like, oh my god! Finally, something from when I was younger has come back, and it's not a horrifying mm -hmm. failure for yeah. once. For fucking once. And it was so far beyond like, you know, they say, oh, they waited too long to make the sequel. This was like two decades later, <laughs> yeah, and they did it, and you're like, oh no. Yeah, I love that trailer. It has that shot where she kind of drops her knees and screams and the wind yeah. is whipping yeah. across the sand. And, and the fucking music in yeah, it. Yeah, the Junkie XL score. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's great. And then um, it uh, came out. It was a box office disappointment. Oh, yeah. Not a failure. I think, I, I don't know what the market is. I think maybe this, just the delays. Th this was a movie, much like Dread, which I keep bringing up, mm -hmm. yeah. and Speed Racer. You had to see this in theaters. Yeah. Mm. If you didn't see On this a in theaters, big screen. you yep. fucked up. Yep. Yep. You're a fuck up. I mean, I didn't see Speed Racer because, like, I'm an adult. But oh, I know. love Speed Racer. We we were gonna do Speed Racer this summer, and uh, I said when that movie came out, I was like, one day people are gonna appreciate this because it is the only cartoon movie that's an actual cartoon in here's, live action. The camera is not bound. Here's the here's the best review I ever got of that movie. Okay. My dad's friend uh, visited me when I was working at a grocery store, and I had a terrible haircut. Some woman just butchered my fucking hair. Still do. <laughs> no, this is a little bit better. Uh, oh and so he God. looked at me, and he was just like, man, that is a really bad haircut. I'm like, I know. And then we were talking a little bit more, and he's like, oh, I saw that Speed Racer movie. I'm like, oh, how was it? And he looked at me, and went, about as good as your haircut. <laughs> and I'm like, well... I'll never see that fucking movie. At a convention one time, we were we were next to Eric Roberts, and he was having a bad day, I guess. And he looked at me, and he goes, "That guy looks like I feel." <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into Mad Max Fury Road. Yes, starts off with a little backstory to fill in bandwagon fans like Justin who hate good movies. It was hard to know who was more crazy, me or everyone else. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I like the first three Mad Max movies. I just prefer this one. You say they suck all the time. It, only to upset you. You literally <laughs> messaged me randomly in 2015, unprovoked, <laughs> saying Mad Max 70 whatever fucking sucks. Do you know how many people would love for Justin to unprovoked message them about how uh, the movie sucked? That's true. Yeah, no, that's gotta be a low number. Well, we were well, just randomly you know what? calling people on Saturday night in the <laughs> <Yeah>. pool. <laughs> if, if, if Fury Road wasn't 
uh, uh, bad. Why did they rebrand when they did all the Blu-rays of the re-release of the movies? They all made it look like the Fury Road box. Oh, that yeah, happens. That's true. We were talking about uh, Near they Dark. Know. They know Near Dark like is a great vampire movie. Mm. And then when it first went to Blu-ray, the cover made it look like Twilight. I'm like, yeah. oh, no. Like, this isn't even remotely like Twilight. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so usually oil is the big thing mm -hmm. in these films and um, fuel. Gasoline. Yeah, now it's water. Yeah. Uh, the water of, wars. The water wars, yes. Uh, but that could also be like whoever's telling the story. Mm -hmm. It's like changing it, yeah. whatnot. Um, they've retconned Max's family. He had, a, he, had a, he had a proud son who was going to carry on the family name, and a liberal Hollywood came in and said, no, Max has a daughter now to make new. When happy. they say that, they never said it was they his never daughter. She, you hear someone say, Pa, but you don't hear the little girl say yeah, it. I was that, they, they, those liberals. Was it one of these stupid comics you read? Actually, it's a good point. I have to reread them. The Furiosa one was the one everyone got excited for, and yeah. it sucked. No, uh, but the, Actually, there is a weird moment in one of the Mad Max ones where you see him with Tina Turner, but it's the Tom Hardy Mad Max with Tina Turner. It's like that doesn't work. <laughs> I like it. Um, no, they. You hear him say. You hear a kid say "pa," but it doesn't have to be the little girl. I think it's just other people he's come along in the wasteland that he's let down. No, yeah. no, no. I think because the story's being told from one of the surviving women, mm -hmm. and how they're telling the story is like Max did it to honor his daughter because girls get it done. I don't agree with that. <laughs> and a lot well, of people when this came out. I know so I didn't care. Yeah. Like I really didn't care. I'm like, whatever, there's no real continuity. And then I remember like people like the men's right act mm -hmm. activists, that was that movement that existed for a little bit. Uh and a lot of people on my Facebook were like, why would they ruin Mad Max? I'm like, I don't it's not I, I, that I will say this is definitely probably the most masculine movie in existence about feminism. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Which I mean, that's kind of the whole thing is uh, George Miller brought in uh, uh, sex slavery survivors mm. and the women who wrote the vagina monologues to help him kind but, of with the story. The one thing that annoyed me when it came out was like everyone was focusing like on the sex slave and stuff. They're like, yeah, it's this powerful, like, you know, pro woman movement. I'm like. No, the whole movie has a universal anti-slavery. Like, yeah, the, like, you know how many people use young boys as child soldiers? Yeah. And then, like, he's keeping the whole town as <laughs> slaves, really. Like, everyone is a slave there. Yeah. It, like, it's like it should have this overall message. Mm -hmm. And everyone was only focusing on little parts the, the, of the message. They wanted the sexual uh, politics when the real the core of the story is if men mm -hmm. and women could <laughs> just work together we could save the world. <laughs> yes, and remember, this is a fantasy, so that could probably work. That is work. true, yeah. Uh, but yeah, Max gets kidnapped by Morton I mean, come on, imagine we had to work with, imagine, like, the only way this could work is if we had to work with Johanna and Crystal. Oh, like, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. So Max gets uh, kidnapped by a Mo Morton Joe's War Boys. This is mm -hmm. the only time he gets to drive the Interceptor. Yeah. And so I was real let down by that. Yeah. Mm. I mean, he's taking a pee, and he eats a two Also, he rebuilt lizard. this. If we're going to go in continuity, he yeah. rebuilt the Interceptor. It was turned into a wagon last yeah. time. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I like eating the two-headed uh, lizard. Oh, yeah. the look of this movie. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy the movie's colorful. Because so many post-apocalyptic movies in like the last 10, 15 years have yeah. all been that desaturated gray. Well, not just that. It's also super bright and super dark. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Which, I look, I don't mind the desaturated look, but like everyone was doing it. It's mm -hmm. like, can we get a little bit of variety here? And the way that uh, things have that rust and mm. earth tone colors and then certain characters just pop on screen like the war pups being all yeah. white set against that kind of Silent Hill backdrop is yeah. really cool. Mm. And then uh, Elvis's granddaughter with the red hair and all that oh, right. looks like that. a character from like a fucking, like one of the, what's the guy who made Howl's Moving Castle? Uh, Miyazaki. Miyazaki. Miyazaki, like yeah. it looks, she looks like a Miyazaki character. She even has the goggles and it kind of looks like um, the one kid from um, um... Editor, hover, oh, hold on, hold on. Hover, Editor hover, hover your math and um, then we could just say it and then it'll say like you did it. Oh, uh, the one the one um, kid from Cowboy Bebop. Oh, okay. It's kind of very similar. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You know? I don't watch kids shows. Uh, yeah, so he tries to escape. He's wearing a Mandalorian t-shirt. Oh, he because a it's like, wear a Mandalorian t-shirt because Mandalorian's like a Western and this is like a Western. Did you know the Mandalorian's like a Western, but it's in Star Wars? Odalay. It's going to be like a fucking Western in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Tony. Speaking well, of Western, this movie kind of follows is... a little bit of like a wagon trainy type of thing. It's like, we're going to go straight and then we're going to turn around. Yeah. <laughs> well, this one is like basically um, the lone cowboy tr trope yeah. where it's like, oh, the lone cowboy yeah. wanders into town. It's mm -hmm. one of those. Uh, yeah. So they want to use him as a blood bag. 
Yeah. Which I think is funny. We mm-hmm. find out Mac Rock, Max Rockatansky mm-hmm. is a universal donor. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have love, ways I to test they, that out, I guess. I like when they tattoo his back, but it's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and all the stuff they tattoo on him is actually like really cool. From yeah. the, It's from the other movies. There's a lot of world building yeah, in there, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, a lot of stuff in there. It's just like universal donor, how tall he is, like mm-hmm. all the info you need on him. <laughs> and then, you know, then they're going to give him the old... Uh, the, the, the brand mark mm, on the right. back. And he gets out of there. Yeah. Which, uh, by the way, I'm going to definitely get as a tattoo one day. <laughs> it matches my theme. Mm-hmm. But. So he tries to escape. I'm uh, being he's... more rugged and manly than Tony. Yeah. yeah. He tries to escape, and uh, they're they're just dissecting his car, which, again, really hurt me. Mm-hmm. Like, that poor goddamn car, which we have somewhere. Oh, yeah, we have the car right there. Um, yeah, and then, uh, what you call it? I like the reveal of the Citadel. Yeah. Oh, also, he's haunted by the people he let down. But yeah, he opens up the doors to like a bus, but then he's like but on the top of the a cliff. haunting by the other people comes into play later. Yes, which yeah. I thought was a really cool little thing. You yeah, know? Uh, and like I said, I like that reveal of the, just the two huge hills with mm. like the skull embedded on it, and then and then the logo pops in all three D. Yeah, this was a movie it's much l- much, much like, like Dread. Dread where it came out when 3D movies were getting really popular in theaters again for some mm-hmm. reason. Mm-hmm. And I was scared this whole movie was going to have those 3D in-your-face effects. And there's only but one. It, it only happened twice oh, with the logo okay, yeah. and then the end, but we'll yeah. talk about yeah. that later. Yeah. So the next day we meet uh, Imperator, Imperator Furiosa. Imperator Furiosa. <laughs> V8. You got you to do it with the mask on. Uh, I don't know where... Oh. <laughs> Imperator Furiosa V8. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, she is going to run resources to the neighboring towns. In the war rig. Yes, with the Morton Joe's brothers, which mm-hmm. I think the Morton Joe one tells you how he met them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Gas Town and the Bullet Farm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, that, like the whole, I guess, it's state or whatever this mm-hmm. is, It's uh, it runs on a barter system. Yeah. So they have the water, they have the produce, mm-hmm. and they have the mother's milk. Right. They milk some from very lo- Which there is voluptuous deleted, ladies. There's a deleted scene. Did you ever see the deleted scene with the no. mother trying to go to the Citadel? And she's like, she's like, I have a baby. Can you take my baby? And they're like, no. And she's like, well, I have breast milk. You can use me for that. And they're like, sure. So she throws her baby. <laughs> and they just take her to be a milkmaid. You know, like, that's, well, like, I guess they didn't want an NC-17 and them throwing a rubber baby. <laughs> is it worse than the baby in American Sniper? <laughs> ever see that baby? Uh, yeah. Or the baby in the Twilight movies. Yeah, oh, God. Um, yeah, so uh, Morton Joe is played by the late Hugh Keys Byrne, mm-hmm. who was the toe cutter yeah. in Mad Max, that really good movie. His And Justin yeah. was saying when I came over to the table where he was watching this, his first movie was the first Mad Max movie, yeah. and then his last movie was this, so it's like two... Well, it wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't his first movie, but it was like, these are his first big and last yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know he was supposed to play the Martian Manhunter. Oh, because be George cool. Miller was going to make right. Justice League Mortal because Megan Gale, who's in this movie, is also good. She was going to be yeah, uh, Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. It, it's in, yeah, and then Junkie XL did the music for all of it. Yeah, so yep. it yeah. It kind of ties together. They're doing a documentary about that. Good. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see that. Cool. Yeah, because yeah. Adam Brody was going to be the Flash. That's right. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and Arnie he, Hammer was going to be Batman. <laughs> how is Arnie Hammer doing these days? I don't days? know how he's doing these days. I haven't mm-hmm. heard of him in a while. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> he's an evil dictator. Yeah. And like I said, he keeps sex slaves and boy soldiers. And he's and, covered uh, in tumors. He's covered in tumors, but then he tries to make himself look cooler than he is. Like Where, you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he's basically just like all these people. He just starves them. Yeah. But he gives them a little bit of water to mm-hmm. like keep them in line. I love the whole do not get addicted to water. It's like, <laughs> you mean yeah. the thing that like every living thing needs to survive? Like, I don't know if you get addicted right, to that. Right, they're, because they're trickling. It's it's kind of you know a situation where they have to trickle like how much stuff that it's trickle down economics. Oh yeah, they, they have to which give, always works. Like, I they, believe where like they only give enough to the people to survive because they needed to trade to get weapons and gas in order to fight off other people to survive. Yeah, so it's this whole fucked up thing. One of his sons is Nathan Jones, who we just saw is Ryko yeah. in Mortal the, Kombat. The Rictus. Yes, and then the organic mechanic was Goro's voice in the new I love Mortal that Kombat. It's the, I love how this whole world building where he's not. The doctor, he's an organic, organic mechanic. mechanic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and then the other son is, uh, I believe, Eric the actor. It looked like Eric the actor to me, but I think he might have been dead at this time. No, he yeah. still would have been alive when they shot it. The guy who played the other son does like TED talks. Really? I think I saw like a TED talk with him. The, the little guy. The little guy. Yeah, yeah. He, he died in like twenty. 
18 or something. Yeah. Just like Eric the actor. Maybe it is. Look up Eric the actor. We probably... That's not what they called him on the Howard Stern show. That's what he <laughs> called himself. Ah. <laughs> we also forgot to mention of Mars Attacks when they would make fun of Eric the actor. They would always play ack, 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 because his voice sounded like that. <laughs> uh, Furiosa takes the caravan off course, but you she's not. You didn't say it was Charlize Theron. It's Charlize Theron. The star of Eon Flux. The star of The Devil's Advocate. Oh, Prometheus. Right. Reviewed and Prometheus. 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 Yeah. You know what? Tom Hardy and and her are all hit or miss in whatever movie they're in. Yes. Really? You never know if they're going to be good or bad. And this one, they're both good. Gosh. And they hated each other. They did? While they were making this because they were filming in like Africa. And yes. It took this is the first one they didn't film in Australia. Yeah. Uh, they actually went back to where they did Road Warrior mm -hmm. to go film, but now it's all green. Yeah. Which, pff, okay, climate crisis, people. Explain that one, Newt. But yeah, so well, it was all Because Australia's like, oi, <laughs> we need to take care of this planet, we do. <laughs> uh, but yeah. They, the they're... prime minister's a kangaroo. I don't know if you... <laughs> Andy! <laughs> but yeah, they were like, we were going to go there, and it was all just green now. So yeah, they went to... um. Hold on a second. I can't handle Newt has Tourette's, but he doesn't curse. He just says Simpsons references, and you have to understand what he's talking about to get it. Yeah, oh, I missed it for our minister. Something's wrong with the loo. Piece of black makeup just fell off my face. Well, it's because of the chemicals in the air. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I forgot the plot line. I hope you go full Raiders of the Lost Ark by the end of this. Your fucking face melts off. Mm. Uh, that okay. was, uh, uh, <laughs> the people of Australia got really upset about that episode and apparently like they were, they wanted like to kill the Simpsons and they're the commentary track. They're like, you know, they got really upset about that. There was going to be a Simpsons float at some parade and they're like, bought Simpsons coming. We going to kill him. And they're like, well, actually it's going to be like a little person in a suit. And the guy was like, that's fine. We going to kill him then. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want it. Like I, Australia looks beautiful, but everything there is programmed to murder. It's like the predator planet. I like, like I want to go there, but I'm also terrified to go there. I like that. They lost a war with birds. Yeah. How's but that happen? It's a fucking emu mind. Yeah. It's not even like there's <laughs> tiny birds that reproduce too bad. Look at giant birds. They're hard to miss. Yeah. Well, I, I like any Australians who are watching this. They're like, oh, yeah, these fucking dickheads are right. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cunts on act the movies. Like. B -E <laughs> so, yes, Charlie the Ron. Uh, that's Charlie a, the Ron. That's a joke from uh, Honest Trailers. Back when Honest Trailers was good, when our friend Andy Signore wrote it. Uh, now it's terrible. Uh, yeah, she takes the caravan off course, and she doesn't tell the war boys, like, what she's doing. Oh, I see you played Knifey Spoonie before. <laughs> 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 and then Immortan Joe and Eric the actor notice that they're off course. Yeah. And I like that they're, like, testing the milkmaids. It's kind of sad they gave all the milkmaids, like, fake babies. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's depressing. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, yeah they're all rocking, like, wooden babies. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, but yeah, they're like, they notice she's going off course and Amor and Joe's like, I know what she's up to. And they stole his brides that are in his giant safe that are in his giant safe with a hole in the wall who murdered the world. Yeah, yeah. they had time to graffiti everything like their manifesto. You should have just <laughs> fucking left. Oh, they planned it. Mm. They planned it. Who runs the world? Girls. Who runs Bart? We made the, oh, wait, I was going to, I was going to say Girls. I already made this. I already made the stroke of Boss Baby 2, but no one watched Boss Baby 2. I think I know who runs the world, Justin. Girls. Girl. Oh. That's all I really <laughs> well, want no, is girls. Uh, Mel Gibson also <laughs> knows. I listen to some Mel Gibson audio, and uh, I think I know. Uh, which one? <laughs> Everybody come eat. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that one? Yeah. Him and Joe Esterhausen. Oh, God. Who's also an insane person. And he even even he's like, Mel oh, Gibson's a little much. And then Mel Gibson like was like, no. Nah. I fucking love the Jews, I do. <laughs> and then he's like tried to write a Maccabee Lady movie, and that would be like the guy who. Never mind. I'm not gonna go any Man, further. You, in your Australian <laughs> accent is shifting real in the Cockney. <laughs> like oh, chim chimichimri. <laughs> so Martin Joe gets his war party ready. By the end of this, I'm just gonna come up behind you with a didgeridoo. <laughs> 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 I'm uh, Yahoo serious. So they're all gonna chase Furiosa down because mm -hmm. he wants his he wants his ladies back. And Nicholas Holt, Beast. Yep. From X-Men. The little boy from About a Boy. Yes. Oh, he's a Nux. Nux, yeah. yes. Which I, when I was first writing my notes, I kept calling him Hux. 
And I was like, oh, wait, that's that's that forgettable character. Huxtable, from- because uh, Toast the Knowing's mom was uh, on the Cosby show. Yeah, Lisa Bonet. Lisa Bonet. Toast the Knowing? That's the, the... the one who's Catwoman now. Uh, L- Lenny Kravitz. Oh, I, yeah. I forget some Lenny of Lenny Kravitz, names. Lisa Bonet. Right. And now right. They're, her, her stepdad is Aquaman. That's right. Jason That's Momoa. Right. I like Zoe Kravitz. Uh, I'm excited to see her as Catwoman. I I, she likes you too. I heard. Yeah. Oh, she does. Yeah. Oh, nice. Remember when um, <laughs> fucking when that Nissan Xterra SUV was all the rage? It has like the little pop out in the back. It has like a first aid kit in it. It was just be like the off road SUV. Oh yeah, I remember and that. They, and it, the, every commercial had a fucking Lenny Kravitz. I remember there was a funny picture. <laughs> there was a funny picture of him in front of like a neon green one. That's really good. But remember when he was doing that. <laughs> He was doing that performance in leather pants. <laughs> <laughs> his pants, they spread open and his ear just flopped out. <laughs> and he's just like, oh no. Please tell me there's video of this. <laughs> I gotta, <laughs> it's so good when like crap. <laughs> Show it like can we blur it or something. We can blur it. We can, can we, like, blur pull, it. like your face over. No, put Mel Gibson's face over. <laughs> His dick went. I want, I want to get, get away. away. <laughs> <laughs> I want to <all> fly. <laughs> so you want to take a minute to breathe? No, no we're good. good. No, we're fine. <laughs> I just like thinking of Lenny Kravitz's dick popping out. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I wish I could be Lenny Kravitz dick for one day, though. That's true. Imagine that. I wish I could put that as the opening <laughs> teaser, but I can't. Uh, yeah, so Nicholas Holt is upset. I bet. And then another guy from an X-Men movie is like, I'm going to take your car. Fuck you. Uh, and he's like, no, you're not taking my car. We're going to hook up my blood bag, who is Max, to mm. the front of my goddamn car. Which is awesome. Which is pretty awesome. Yeah. If I'm going to die... I'm gonna die historic on the Fury Road. And then uh cut to Max just on the front of a goddamn car <laughs> with a with a yeah, thing over his face, and it's a garden trail. Yeah, on the yep. face. Everything yeah. in this movie uh was found objects. Yeah, like yeah. uh like on the war rig, the 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 uh the pedal, the gas pedal is a fucking like foot sizing yeah. thing yeah. from like a like a shoe store. I like to imagine that's what Al Bundy's uh, on his Dodge. <laughs> I imagine it's that. Like, he just took it from the store one day. <laughs> I'm almost finished watching that entire series. You proud of yourself? It's so good. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't change a thing. Funny today as it was in the past. Mm. I know. I know you guys wouldn't find it as funny, but I think it's great. Anyway, uh, the Doof Warrior is awesome. Yes, he is. He's the uh, the guitarist. Yes. I think that's... Uh, it's, it's I-O-T-A, so it's Iota. That's the, yeah, that's the guitarist name. He's a Australian composer, and he's married to the redheaded chick in real life. Yeah, the ah, anime okay. girl. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He's like fucking awesome. He's a total waste. Yeah, because like, this is because like, the whole the whole thing is like a masculine power trip. Like, and Morton <laughs> Joe must have been some like car mechanic guy who got exalted because he owned the land. Yeah, or something. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know what his backstory is, but well, I gotta read the comic. comic. Uh, yeah, he's fucking awesome. But, it's but the also- way that it goes, you just see the do, 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 the drums, the war drums, yeah. and then you come around to the front, and there's this fucking dude playing Who, a guitar. His guitar is a flamethrower, which is such a waste of resources. But that even adds to the masculinity yeah. of it all. Uh, and of course, they took his interceptor. They souped it up, mm-hmm. and I like that. This is like the first time you hear like Max talk, other than the voiceover. Yeah. And it's just like, God damn it, that's my car. Oh, it's time to car. They got my goddamn car. <laughs> <laughs> they got my blood. No, they got my car. Uh, senpai notices Nux, and he's very happy about that. Mm-hmm. You want to explain the senpai thing to him? Senpai just means you're like your elder, your teacher in Japanese. So and there's that whole like notice me, senpai. Yeah, because if you're teacher or the, the person you're admiring notices you, that's a good sign. It's a very muted society, so when you get a little nod, it's a good thing. But I've, I've never once nodded at Tony. <laughs> yeah, but you're, but you're missing the part where she goes off course and they right. start being attacked by the buzzards. Well, that's, yeah. that's coming up. No, that's, no, that's happens, right next. I it? have it in my notes right now. It happens at the same time, though, right? They like, get they attacked catch- by the sand people from Star Wars. You can't say sand people. Luke Skywalker said sand people. You can't say 
sand people. They're Tusken Raiders. No, no. Obi Wan and Luke Skywalker said sand people. They're sand people to me. God damn it. They're, they didn't say their I name. Guess we're fucking canceled. Yeah, no, not us. I'm. Still, oh no, uh, the fictional race of he's aliens over here being uh, racist to to space people. And I'm over here thinking about Lenny Kravitz's dick, so I'm fine. Wait, <laughs> wait, did you just say Reese's? You said Reese's. Like, PCs. Like Reese's Reese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love Reese's Reese's PCs. Because again, you can't taste hate, as I said before. <laughs> how how long until Disney adds in the word Tuscan Raider into a new hope? How how long? How well, long? I mean, are they gonna do like what did you tell me they changed they can't call it slave one anymore? They never say that, that in the movies, the, though. That was for the Lego. Okay. Yeah, they never say that Set. in the movies, though. I heard Mandalorian Season 2, which I didn't watch because Mandalorian's <laughs> terrible. I heard it, like, humanized the I find So people. I find that I'm, like, I don't really need to be part of society anymore. So if I just remember things that the way they used to be and then don't say them out loud, I can't get in trouble. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. So the sand people attack uh, <laughs> Furiosa. Buckets, which I think it was like a, like a French designer on yeah, the cars. Yep. Like you saw one of the cars in mm -hmm. real life, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll send, we'll put pictures from no. that in there. The Hollywood Car Museum has like a whole Mad Max thing. Nice. You know? These guys are pains in the asses in the, the video game. The video game was very underrated. Oh, like, there's a Mad Max out. video. It was open world. Well, there oh, was, yeah. Who there was the Nintendo was one. No, no, no. The, the there's a brand new one. Yeah. Uh, that came world. out like right after this movie. Mm -hmm. It's got like a lot of references, all the other stuff. It's like, it's like after this movie, he gets into a fight with mm -hmm. another Immortan Joe brother or son. Mm -hmm. You actually go to Gas Town in that. You yeah, fight in like a Super Thunderdome. Oh, it, it really? It like continues the thing. Yeah, yeah, it is a little open world. It's got a prop. It's got the same problem most open world games have, where there's like a lot of repetitive shit. But I've actually, it, it's a lot of fun. It was. Did the super nerd underrated. ever do the the old Mad Max game? I don't think so. No, he did. Like not like, Max not a full review. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was one of those where he went through like a couple games. Oh, and okay. I think he talked about like, like or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was talking about not uh, not Outrun, but there was a game in the in that that was very. It was supposed to be like a Mad Max game, but it wasn't. What the mm -hmm. fuck was that called? I'll look it up later. Yeah, when you beat the game, you actually get Mad Max's original like Road Warrior outfit. Oh, okay. You can play the game again as it. Uh, you can also customize them and stuff. It's pretty mm -hmm. cool. I I went with long hair Mad Max because I like I like Thunderdome. Thunderdome is pretty good. It's the worst one, but I really like. It. <laughs> I like Blaster Master. Yes, or is it Master Blaster. Master Blaster. Master Blaster. Blaster yes, Master is a mind game. of a child, which is what we say about Tony every time we have to go in for a meeting. <laughs> you guys should be Master Blaster for one Halloween. We should just ride on Justin. <laughs> no, I want to ride on Newton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been strengthening my core just for this moment. <laughs> Your leather plants are gonna split, <laughs> and then I fall out. <laughs> Hello. Uh, so yeah, now they're all fighting. Like uh, the War Boys are like, we gotta get. The sand people off their back, and then we can attack. Now uh, you're just now you're just saying it just to be controversial. Uh, cut to the clip. Cut to the clip from Star Wars and tell me I'm wrong. They're sand people, all right. I can see one of them now. The sand people are easily startled, but they'll soon be back. These tracks are side by side. Sand people always ride single file. As they're fighting, the one guy gets shot with a bunch of arrows, and mm -hmm. then he does, he sprays the chrome on his mouth, yeah. which is like, what is that, food spray in real life? Uh, uh, I assume it was actual chrome, like... Well, in the movie. In but the movie, because every, uh, that product is supposed to give, like, food, like, a glossy look for oh, taking I pictures. That, yeah. yeah. And then apparently, if you go on, like, Amazon or whatever now, every review of that is, this was in Fury Road. Witness me. Yeah. yeah, like I just assume they manned up and just spray themselves a chrome spray. No, paint. no, no, no. That's that's what it is in the movie. No, no, no. But I, I thought I didn't know you. They found something that. Yeah, looked in like real that. life, it's like a, I think my friend bought it. It tastes like awful, apparently. Well, I bet, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's like a thing that they do. They everyone has yeah, to witness them dying. The Morton Joe's like when you die, you go to Valhalla, and which V8 is something and, real life dictators and uh, you know. Terrorists and stuff used to program into uh, young boys. I, I like if all all, all the dead uh, war boys have to show up in like the Marvel movies, <laughs> like in in, in, in Asgard Thor movie. Yeah, yeah, because it's like Valhalla. Asgard doesn't exist anymore. It was destroyed. They blew it up. Yeah. Well, now they they're in a back. Fish, now they're in a fishing community. Maybe they brought it back in the Loki show. I didn't watch the Loki show. I didn't either. Uh, yeah. So he blows up. Wow. And they all scream mediocre. Mm -hmm. Now is that good or bad in this? No, universe? no. Uh, 
the ones who thought he died and whatever, they're like V eight and they're happy. Only a few said mediocre. Oh, okay. They were judging the 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 kill. Oh, I do okay. like that the V eight the logo is their is their crucifix now. Yeah, yeah. like it's their religious <laughs> and the symbol. steering wheel. Yeah. yeah, and remember this was a scene parodied in Space Jam two Electric Boogaloo. You know, I did not see Spam, Space Jam 2. Spam Jam? Sam I didn't jam? see Spam Jam 2. Clam Jam? <laughs> spam Jam is the Food Fight sequel. <laughs> That's a good name. Yeah. yeah. No, but, yeah. Pretty I, much. I saw the clip of the coyote, was a coyote like, blowing people yeah, up. Yeah, because basically Space Jam 2 is a smorgasbord of what's on HBO Max. Max, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's not like a Somebody real movie. clipped a picture that because all the bad guys are on one side. And one of the, the have you ever seen Devils, the Ken Burn, the Ken Russell movie? No. no. One of the nuns from that movie isn't that. And that movie's like banned in a lot of places, but they put it in the background of a children's. The War film. Boys are in it. I know that. Yeah. Like not just that scene. I I saw a picture of them cheering. <laughs> I'm never gonna watch the movie. No, me either. Who would watch Space Jam too. I know uh, Pepe Le Pew isn't in it. Uh, yeah. Well, we talked about that in the Space Jam episode. Uh, we were gonna review. I mean, either. <laughs> we were gonna review Space Jam too, but then we did two children's films back to back and you guys did not like it and it was all Justin Silverman's fault just want to let the fans know that I don't know because last I heard this is Tony's show and Tony makes the decisions I don't know what you're talking so about when what? things work don't work out he sure likes to pass the buck yeah Tony you need to fall on the sword my friend mm -hmm. <laughs> oh like in Romeo and Juliet because they had guns they yes. called them their straw your yeah. swords so Furiosa needs to figure out a way to get rid of all these war boys and what does she do are you doing white lines? No, sandstorm. Oh, that was a really bad sandstorm. That's not sandstorm. I hope the radiation in this bit is going to kill him much faster. My brain is melting yeah, inside fine. my skull. No, no, that was the syphilis that you already had. Cut to the sandstorm steam with Darude steam. Cut to the sandstorms. No, I can't you're talk. right. I can't fucking talk. You just, you just, you, you just sang it like an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Cut to you're like doo -doo 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 -doo. the sandstorm scene with the Darude sandstorm music. Cut to it. Wow, that was great, Tony. You're Sand right. Sandstorm. Uh, now this video gets Sandstorm. Remember that on oh, Mystery Science? Oh no, we're Science? gonna use you idiot. We're gonna use a mini version. Remember that on like Mystery Science <laughs> Theater when they used it all the time? Sandstorm. Sand no? Oh. Sandstorm. Sandstorm. At, at this point, you, you know that she stole the the females, right? Yeah, I guess I think They're Rosie hunting Wheatley, fresh off of Transformers, Dark at the Moon. I think that's the right one. Which one? Oh, was she that she was the one who replaced Megan, Megan Fox. Fox? Yeah. Okay, I knew she looked familiar. The way hotter one. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. So she's she's there. They're with all the brides. They're like hidden. I like how he says the way hotter one. Like, does she ever like? At no point did the woman ever look at the three of us and go, "Oh yeah, that one." Well, like, I mean, that... if she did, obviously. I mean, come on, <laughs> come on. Let's put a poll. Who's the hottest out of the three of us? Oh, I can do live polls Wait, on it, the premiere. With the fourth, I'm, I'm going to do the poll right I now. I really hope the fourth option is none of the above. <laughs> <laughs> and Tony, I just want to mention, if the polling's still going on, I'm a little worried about the blackface. <laughs> That's, no, it's not. <laughs> not worried it's about. war boy face. Oh. oh. It's not sand people yeah. face. Jesus Christ, Tony. It's what they're called. It's what they're called in the movie. You know, I heard a lot of other people in the past say, <laughs> what? That's just, that's, they were old timers. That's just what they called them. <clears throat> so the sandstorm's awesome. Yeah, it's Because it it's is. like a nuclear, sa nuclear? Yeah. How do you say it? Nuclear. nuclear. Nu well, we got yelled at for saying nuclear. Nuclear. We were told that that was wrong when we did Superman 4. I always said nuclear. That's like, what I say, but like apparently it's nuclear man. Or is it supposed to be nuclear? Fuck them. Nuclear. They go into an atomic sandstorm. Kind of, yeah. Which sounds like a metal band. Well, atomic because, blonde cause this world, Charlize Theron. Because this mm. world was not only like nuked and destroyed over fighting over resources, mm. there was a terrible 
climate change that ruined everything. Which I think was caused by the nukes. I I think it didn't help. I don't think I don't think you get nuclear sandstorms no, from you just get, you climate get, you change. You get giant normal sandstorms. <laughs> Who then you then nuked, and they became <laughs> nuclear. Didn't somebody say, like, could we nuke a hurricane one time? Wasn't there, like, an elected official who I think said that, that was a sarcastic comment that everyone took too seriously. Oh. I don't know who it was, though. Okay, it was a guy. Uh, yeah, so they drive in the storm. I love, like, the guys get sucked up in the whirlwind, mm-hmm. and then, like, lightning striking them. <laughs> and even, like, Max, who's now broken out of his mm-hmm. chains. He's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, even Max is like, holy shit, look at that. That's awesome. Like, so many times, like, cool guys in movies just ignore, like, explosions. But Max is like, whoa, <laughs> just five guys just died. Uh, but I like that uh, Nux is planning on killing himself. Mm-hmm. And Max is like, nah, I'm not having no. yeah. that shit. He's like, witness me, blood bag. He's like, oh, no, no it's just no. punch in the window. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and their car, like, explodes yeah. and gets totally demolished. Yeah, they rammed it and... Uh, and I love the next shot where it looks like a mountain, mm-hmm. but it ends up just being Max's head in the sand. Yeah. Way better than when Spielberg took a molehill and tried to pass that off as a mountain. Remember that? Really mad about Crystal Skull. That was a guinea pig. No, no it was a me- uh, meerkat. Me- no, it was a... No meer- I don't think meerkat. It was a groundhog. It was a groundhog. Groundhog? Groundhog. 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 I guess so. I've, like, blocked out parts of that movie from my brain. Like, I... like. People who like survived like severe traumas and they like just have parts of their like memory they don't remember. <laughs> Wait, what's the, what's the thing from Caddyshack? Groundhog? Yeah. That's a groundhog. Prairie dog. Prairie, prairie dog. dog. Prairie dog. Prairie dog, dog. companion. Prairie. Pra- <laughs> is that like a prairie home companion? Yeah. For the NPR <laughs> yeah. listeners watching this fucking travesty? Oh my Today God. on uh, Talking uh, About Tapes. Yeah, we'll be, today uh, on Talking About Tapes. <laughs> I love this scene where like Max like can't get out. He's like trying to bite his fingers off. He goes to shoot his hand and the, the gun just doesn't work. Oh yeah, work. He, he, he's going to shoot yeah. Nux's hand off with the, with the shotgun. And it just says, it, I, we were watching the subtitles. It just said, Misfire. <laughs> but then he uses the gun as a prop. Yes. Uh, but it also, yeah. Just like this. Ah! <laughs> it is weird. What if, ac- what if we accidentally Brandon lead him? <laughs> <laughs> the next one. Oh, is that well, joke you're staying- the crow. Is that joke staying in nude? Is that joke controversial? You know, you do look like the crow. <laughs> yeah. But like I if the to- crow got like stung by a bunch of bees. <laughs> I'm, re- I'm repositioning. <laughs> I'm like sitting on my leather jacket and like fell off. <laughs> he sat on he sat on his Lenny Kravitz. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this part's kind of confusing because like he wakes up, he's doing the hand thing, and then he sees the truck, and it's like, wait a minute, did they just drive like 50 feet and then stop? Where no, he- it got clogged with sand. Yeah, she's banging it out. She's banging on the sand out of the oh, uh, so. thing. Yeah. Intakes. Yeah, the, the truck is constantly breaking down. It is. The constantly truck has breaking. issues. Yes, uh, but yeah, he uh, rolls up on them. He's dragging. Nux like the alien in Independence mm-hmm. and a fucking car door and a car door much like the parachute in yes Independence Day. yes mm-hmm. much like Independence Day which is a great film uh, and then he you know reveals that there's a bunch of sexy ladies getting all wet and wild yeah he's like I'm down with this uh, I like they're cutting off their chastity belts yeah I'm like oh god oh, <laughs> with like the spikes yeah <laughs> uh, basically you know it's like a standoff he needs them to cut off the Mm-hmm. The thing, and they get into a fight. But he's like trying to like scrape it off. That's like, later. That's oh. later. Here is where he went the bolt cutters. Uh, it's but still the girl's connected like, to blood too, which yeah. is cool, <laughs> yeah. right? Because the, the the blood bag thing's going around. Yeah, the yeah. But then there's like a ticking clock thing because he's fighting Furiosa, but like the war party's like closing in. This on was them. a great fight. Like this movie, we haven't really talked too much about the cinematography yeah. aside from the color. Mm-hmm. They do so much good stuff with speeding the film up mm-hmm. and, and slowing yep. it down, and I'm so glad they shot it all on film because it was like. It just looks right. Not yeah. all on film. Some of it was digital. They yeah. used like, uh, I remember them saying they used like Canon 5Ds as GoPros. Really? You just like strap those into a car well, and then drive that car into a bunch well, of cars the fucking, they had to. Yeah. The first movie, they said they didn't have uh, like the proper rigs for everything. So if you watch that documentary I was talking about, fucking dude with the camera is just has his legs wrapped around a guy on a motorcycle and they're just going a hundred miles per hour down a road and hoping oh, for the best. My favorite part of the first movie is the truck at the end. It's the front of it is completely fake and it's painted, but it's all not even. Yeah. So he pulls it. It's like this weird cardboard <laughs> thing. Uh, well, the editing in these movies is all about speed to yeah. hiding things or the eyes bug out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The goal is to Which like, he's used multiple times. Yeah. He used it in Twilight Zone. It's even Zone. in Twilight Zone. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, yeah, so the fight scene is pretty great. Uh, he eventually, like, gets the truck. Nux, I like Nux helps him, and he thinks they're, like, teaming up. Mm -hmm. and he's yeah, like, he oh, out. we'll get anything we want. And he's just like, give me my jacket. And he's like, oh, you just want the jacket. So get you new, get some new boots. And <laughs> yeah, but I love they, they the keep wrestling for, like, like there was a gun hidden on. There's a million guns hidden on yeah. the truck, <laughs> and they and they got one of them or whatever. But I like how it's, like, the, gu the fight is almost like a dance mm -hmm. because it's, like, knocks the gun into cock it, and then they roll again. Yeah. Just the editing in that scene feels like a dance, which I thought yeah. was really it's really, cool. really, yeah. really, 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 really well done. Uh, but he gets in the truck, and it breaks down. Then he, like, reluctantly teams up with them. Well, he has to because the the cut the truck has a cutoff sequence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And only Furious and knows the code yeah. to get the truck going. The so he's like, safe. get in. Yeah. Not them. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, them. Okay, oh, them. God. He is the reluctant hero in this. Like, he definitely doesn't want to be the hero yeah. the movie keeps forcing him exactly. to be. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they should have made a song for this one. He doesn't wanna be doesn't a wanna hero. Doesn't wanna be a hero. Is Tina, he is that Tina want... Turner? Tina Turner, yeah. She's still alive? Yeah, she's still yeah. alive. Okay, get her. He doesn't wanna take you home. Anyway, and uh, the fucking dude from the Lost Boys is the saxophone player in that, right? Because right. he was her saxophone oh. guy. Yeah, there's a live show she did in like 2009 where she sang this, and mm -hmm. she got in like a version of the outfit. It's like, oh man, she looks pretty rough. <laughs> She's also like 80 something I years know, old. Yeah, like, Tony, I don't think you're allowed to tell people they look rough. Yeah, really. Oh, I'm gonna get there. Don't uh, worry. Another poll below. Does Tony look? Do rough? I look rough? <laughs> <laughs> Considering that. Uh, people thought that you were like 10 years older than me. Oh, yeah, they always yeah. think I'm older. <laughs> it doesn't help when Justin goes around saying I'm like 45, 50 something. Oh, you're not? Yeah, you're like 44. I'm 31! God damn it! Holy oh shit, God. really? Holy shit. I, like, I was joking, but I thought you were like high 30s. <laughs> fuck you! My, fuck my, me! Mike and I went out to lunch one day and he's like, Is Tony really 31? And I go, Yeah. And he goes, Oh, man. And I'm like, What? He's like, oh, I just feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> Those Italian jeans. Yeah. <laughs> look, look, I had a very stressful life. Someone told me I have to like date women, and that was a bad idea. <sighs> Wait a minute. Wait. Hey. You don't have to. You can switch. No, MGTOW wasn't a thing when I was uh, younger. I need to go back in time. If you just, like, here's the thing. If you just said, like, in this episode, hey, guys, I've decided all these years I've been living a lie, and I would like to live my life as a homosexual man. Do it. You know what, dude? I think someone else uh, said that at one point, and it didn't work out that well for him. We should drop a poll. Should Hello, Tony should be gay? Should Tony come out? You would do so well. No, I don't. I don't know about that. No, no, think about it. In the bear community. No, yeah, because also, house. he's coming into a new environment. He's a little self-conscious. In the bear community, I would clean house. I'd yeah, clean house. but he's also, he'd have low self-esteem, so these guys could just, like... They would just destroy him, and he would be like, "Well, this, this is, is all getting cut, this right? is normal, this is all right? Right? No, we're keeping no, this, this is all staying in. No, we Jessica, want you to keep it in. <laughs> why, is it, why is it my jokes? You're always like, oh, I don't know about that, but then you because you're calling people racist names, aliens we're that trying... don't exist. Oh, okay, aliens oh, that don't exist in your white America. I get it. <laughs> they don't exist in America. They're from space. Mm -hmm. God damn it. Yeah." I'm just saying, imagine how much happier you would be. No, no, I, anyway. Anyway, I'm aging very poorly. Uh, where are we at in this fucking movie? below, would you date Tony? Oh, no, that's going to be terrible. <laughs> 100% no. It's like, I wish these guns were real. <laughs> so Gastown and Bullet Farm yeah. joined in mm -hmm. on yeah, because this uh, crusade. Gastown and Bullet Farm are mad because they wanted their supplies. They wanted their resources, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, let me see. Here. I like that Bullet Farm guys has like bullet teeth. Yeah, yeah. he has bullet everything. everything. And then Gas Town guy just has nipple clamps with a lock. And, and but he's all dressed as like a uh, like a old timey uh, like businessman businessman yeah. accountant. But then periodically when things are going on, he's just tweaking his nipples. Yeah, and he has giant feet. Yeah, uh, he should put he should put his feet in bags, like I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard things were so going so bad at Screenwave, you had to wear bags on your feet. <laughs> Newt, that is a very funny joke that you came up with. That's hilarious. Oh, my God. That's because I'm living on this show rent-free. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so the same people are pissed because they were like, you said there only be like five or four cars at the most. And they're like, there's like two goddamn war parties. She's like, three. Yeah. yeah. And she's like, well, my bad. And mm -hmm. they're, they're not dealing with that. I think they hear what's her face. Yeah, she's, she's like having, having baby yeah. problems. Mm -hmm. Baby problems. 
Boss uh, and it all problems. goes to shit. So now, now there's four different parties going after Furiosa yeah. and Max, uh, and it leads to a fucking awesome ass motorcycle fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing: uh, a lot of people say with these stunts, they're like, "Oh man, it was all in camera practical," and it really wasn't. No, a but a lot en- of it was. Yes, enough of it was that you but can't. People complain. always say like, "Yeah, there was no CGI." I'm like, most oh, of the no, backgrounds yeah. of this yes, are CGI. Exactly. It was mostly. It was a lot of CGI, but it was to enhance or cover. Yeah. What was going on, and that's the way you want to use CGI. Yeah, mm-hmm. especially around this time when this movie came out, especially with the Pirates of the Caribbean fucking movies. Oh, yeah. everything was fake. Even the Fast and the Furious movies, they're all com- they're cartoon cars, like or Star Wars at the time. Yeah, yeah. But that one takes place in space, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> they're aliens. Yeah, they don't matter. Yeah, it doesn't. They don't matter. They don't matter. Uh, I say that in front of my Mac and Shrine. Aliens don't matter. Uh, that's my Mac and me. <laughs> You're co-opting my Mac and me. Love. Sorry, it's Hack the Movies video. That's the name on the sign. I don't see it saying Silver Mania video. Okay. That's a drop ceiling of a basement. What are you talking <laughs> Shut about? Shut up. Maintain the illusion. Oh. <laughs> the Tony Strait. Yeah, we're trying. <laughs> uh, let me see. Yeah, so the motorcycle chase is fucking awesome, and they kill pretty much everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's uh, cool, and they're shooting them back and forth. Yeah, and, and then Nux is happy. He gets to ride with a Morton Joe because he... he he like grabbed when they kicked him out of the car. He like grabbed onto one of their like shrouds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the girl's uh, yeah. outfit. And no, I lo- no, his his old uh, his old pole boy, which I think is what they're called. Lancer. They're Lancer. Called Lancer. No, pole that, boy. That was the name of our teams in my second high school. Bishop McDevitt Lancers. And now people call you a pole boy. And my first team were the Father Judge Crusaders. Mm. So anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, they let uh, Nux ride with them, right. and his former asshole pole guy. It's like, well, is, I got his boot. I got his. I got Max's boot, and they're like, we don't care about that. Yeah. And then he takes his monster truck '50s car <laughs> yeah. over the rocks that they remember they caused a rock slide mm-hmm. and yeah. locks them in. So they're like, all right, you guys clean the rocks. We're gonna go mm-hmm. fuck everything up. But it's funny because like the bullet farm guy doesn't want to be there. Which changes later in the movie, and we never know why it suddenly changes. Well, I think he's like, ah, oh, this is like a family squabber. This sucks. But then they realize, like, oh, we got. Let, let's just get him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like during because no ch- matter what, it's business regardless. Yeah, you know, I like during the chase. They use Splendid, which is Rosie Hunting Wheatley's mm-hmm. character. They use her as like a human shield because that's his favorite. Yeah, yeah. I love the names of everyone in this movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. Splendid or yeah, I like the whole thing. Um, Toast. Yeah. Uh, Max like accidentally like shot her, and they're like, of all the people, you had to hurt the one he liked the His most. Favorite one. His favorite one. So yeah, Nux is gonna put a bullet in Furiosa's head, and he's mm-hmm. gonna do a Morton Joe proud. And then he fails spectacularly. Oh, it was so, it was so like a very em- emotional scene with the music. Where he's yeah. like, "You'll ride shiny and chrome." Mm-hmm. It's I don't know if a terrorist manipulating a young boy is supposed to be emotional, but keep going, Justin. <laughs> it's definitely emotional. Yeah, it just depends what, what emotion. <laughs> it's like Star Wars from a certain point of view. <laughs> it was emotional to Nux. <laughs> okay, and exactly. therefore was emotional. And to he me. just falls literally right yeah, on his because he still has his chain connected. And it gets caught on it, so he yeah. immediately drops the gun, mm-hmm. yeah. and, and you know. And then, uh, yeah, so she's like being held out. She's like, you know, doing more human shield stuff. Mm-hmm. But then she like, she almost she dodges a rock. The rock yeah. almost kills her. Uh, and then she falls and goes under the wheels. And I like a Morton Joe just like crashes. Yeah, yeah he, he didn't want he didn't want to crash in. The uh, and then like they're all like, is she actually dead? And Max is like, yeah, she went under the wheel. She's yeah, gone. No, she's gone. But she's actually not dead. Uh, and she actually, we never see her die in this version of the mm-hmm. movie, but she did die at one point. Okay. Uh, but I like that when a Morton Joe is sad, he'll put the mouth down on his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, ah. Oh. Because the mouth doesn't move when he uh-uh. talks, which would have been hilarious. Yeah. It doesn't move on this it one. It doesn't either. move on that one. But it would have <laughs> been funny if the whole time it's moving like a Muppet. He looks like Gabbo. But I like that he's just like, I'm, I like that he's like, I'm sad. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> all the kids on the Fury Road are SOBs. <laughs> and then Rictus is just shooting a big yeah. gun into the air for no reason. <laughs> um, so the one girl has had enough. And she's like, let's go back and be slaves. It was great. Nothing wrong with it. And in the comics, I think they point out, like, she hasn't been, like, touched by a Morton Joe yet. So she was, like, picked and she's, like, you know, been living the high life. So mm-hmm. she doesn't understand, like, how miserable it's going to get. Yeah. So that's why the movie never tells you that. 
But it's like that's why. But that comes, that's also why they're leaving yeah. the comic. But it like, also that that mindset is important because again, he brought in people who actually survived this to give their frames yeah. of reference to this story. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think in the comic they explained like Morton Joe's like about to do his thing with her, mm. and that's what finally like snaps Furiosa, and she's like, "All right, let's get out of here." Yeah. But the comic also makes it seem like she was cool with it up until that point, and that's why people were like, "I don't know, if guy should rewrite this." Do you one. think his wiener looks like uh, Lenny Kravitz's wiener? Oh, it has the it has the bumps on it. Yeah. <laughs> With the smiley faces. Yeah. <laughs> you ever like go like into like a deep part of the woods and there's like trees that have like shit growing on them mm. and it's like all bumpy and gross looking. It's got like mushrooms on the end of it. Like that's what <laughs> Madam Joe's. But he also sticks like war medals to it, like he's idiot I mean. Like <laughs> <laughs> Do you think when we get 50k subs you start wearing one of those jackets? <laughs> Of all like the the wars and medals that you've won when you finally have gone crazy and I have to perform a coup de gras. Yes, yes, yes. Very much looking forward to this. A so coup anyway, de gras, uh, you mean a um, uh, like a coup, coup d'état? That's what you meant. No, coup de gras is like where you finish them off. Isn't oh, it? I thought you meant. I thought you were gonna do a coup. So you need to do a coup d'état to do a coup de gras. Yes. Right. Mm hmm. So they find Nux in the back of the war rig. Mm -hmm. He's just there crying. He's like, "I'm so sad. I'm not a child soldier." And this is very emotional, according to Justin Silverman. <laughs> Uh, and like, all right, there, Gaddafi. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, but I like that the girl's just like, uh, wow, that really sucks. And then he's like, oh my God, a girl's talking to me. I don't care about being a child soldier anymore. I'm like, oh, is that all it takes? You just need a girl to talk to you? What happened to me? <laughs> what the hell are the, what the hell are the names of his lumps? Oh, I forget. It's like he, Bimmy he and Jimmy. The, yeah, Bimmy. Yeah. It was Bimmy and Jimmy. Bimmy and Jimmy. Because yeah, there hasn't been any video game talk yet. Very embarrassing. Yeah, he was talking about how. Well, we did talk about video. We talked about the Man Max. I know, here. but we made a joke about it he, in Fear Street. Was, oh, right, the yeah. Fear Street, the good Fear Street callback. Yeah. I'm sure that episode did really well. Uh, it comes out tomorrow. It comes out two days from now. I hope it did well. If it didn't do well, go back and watch Fear Street. Yeah, yeah this came out months ago. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the tumors. He's saying that they're like gonna kill him. Mm -hmm. uh, if my mates don't kill me first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, but basically, she's like, ah, it's cool. We're all best friends now, which I think she's a little too trusting, but whatever. Redheads. They drive to a muddy swamp, uh, and it's a real shit show, and it's real creepy. Yeah. There's, like, people in there that look like they're from, like, the Dark yeah, Crystal is, or something. Yeah, this is where it, it finally goes to night, and now the colors are all... Day for night. It's all day for night. But the but day for all, night's awesome in this. Yeah. It's all blue It's very stylized. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not realistic day for night. It's very stylized. Also, did you notice throughout the movie that... Um, Everyone has light in their eyes, except for Imanim Joe's guys. And then eventually, Nux gets a light in his eyes as well. No, I didn't Go back that. and watch it again. It's really cool. Because Max, it's only there sometimes. And then Nux, it isn't. And then he gets it. But all the... It's like the living and what's dead about the planet. It's so like, oh, that's really cool. You know, you know? another movie did this at some point. The Thing? No, no, no. Another movie did a thing with the eyes where uh, certain characters' eyes were one color. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then the one made a choice, and his eyes changed a different color to show he's a good guy. And it was called Transformers: The Revenge of the Fallen. It was the horny little RC robot. Oh, he decides he doesn't want to be a Decepticon anymore, and his eyes turn blue. And then he humps Megan Fox's leg. I wasn't there that day. Mm. Do you think Fury Road saw Revenge of the Fallen and said we need to do that? Oi, I want to be like that Michael Bay. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Cracks up it. Cracks open a Foster's. I wish George Miller would do more movies like this. Like, how awesome would it be to get and one of these? And he said, hey, do you speak of my language? And he just smiled and made hey, me a Vegemite, Vegemite sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the, the swamp scene I used to like, and now I don't like it. Why is that? Because we just spent two weeks back to whack in a fucking swamp. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're <laughs> covered right. Covered in mud. Yeah, we are in fucking Dagobah up in there. <laughs> <laughs> But it's cool the the dark crystal looking guys yeah. and the crows and the colors and stuff like that. I like when they're going through like the day for night, but in the back the the ladies are huddled yeah. around the light, so they have this like white luminescent yeah, light the around them and light, they're yeah. blue. It's this really cool contrast. Speaking of the crows, yes. Uh, well, first off, Bullet Farm guy, he now decides he really cares and wants to go hunt them. Mm -hmm. He's got his like car has like tank treads. So yeah. yeah, it's like a Cadillac. But it also yeah, could be leverage. He's like, look, if I finish it off, then I get a bigger share. I guess so. Because <laughs> now in this world, a modern Joe who's like. The, a modern Joe? Um, what's his name? A Morton, Morton, a Morton Joe. A Morton Joe. A modern Joe. I don't know. Is he friends with Baz Katana? Baz Katana. Yeah. <laughs> um, they're, they're probably like sub 
you know, places like smaller communities who have power. Mm-hmm. But if you if you knock off, if you want to, you know, heavy is the head that wears the crown. Yeah. So if he comes for it, then he gets to be the new big dick. Yeah. Lump, the new lumpy dick, Lenny Kravitz <laughs> dick. Oh my god. So in this scene, you uh, find out Splendid is still alive, mm-hmm. and they cut out the baby to make sure it's okay, and the baby didn't make it, uh, and he's very sad about that. But the deleted scene, because uh, Miss Kitty is there, the old lady mm-hmm. who was like watching after them. Yeah. In the deleted scene, they leave her and Splendid still alive, just in the swamp, and they get eaten by crows. Whoa! <laughs> like Jesus, that was pretty brutal. <laughs> oh man. So that was pretty rough. Yeah. Uh, so they're dead. I had a baby brother, and, and he, he was, was perfect, perfect in every way. way. <laughs> <laughs> I had a baby brother. I had a little baby brother, and he was perfect. So I like that he's like listening to see if the baby's still alive and like the thing that like old people and like the 19 <laughs> aughts listen through like the thing from Wild Wild West or like a dog was listening to it like <laughs> <laughs> what was that is that RCA yes yeah yes I had a TV with that um wasn't his name like Nipper The dog had a name. I don't remember, but now Victor? that I mentioned Wow Wow West had it, they actually parody that. When the guy dies, the dog goes up to the mm-hmm. horn. <laughs> uh, and I do- said Wicked Wicked Wild West. No, you Jim already West, you've already Death told Brada. this story before. You already told the story before. Death Rada, no, you don't want not a none, none of this. this. Six, Six gun, gun in this. this. <laughs> Brother running this Buffalo soldier. Look, it's like I told you. Any damsel that's in distress. Johanna said she watched that. that. When she meets Jim West. Yeah. <laughs> Johanna watched that recently, and she said it was very problematic, and I'm like, probably overreacting, am I right? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Let's watch Wild Wild West and decide for ourselves. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I like the, uh, they have to work together. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, they're putting the thing around the tree thing. Yeah. The rope around the tree thing, because mm-hmm. he's like never seen like, no, a exactly, tree before. Yeah. I mean, there are trees in the Citadel, but he doesn't see them. No, he's so down, high up. yeah. Uh, and Max is trying to use a sniper rifle, and he sucks. Mm-hmm. So he's like, you only got one shot left. He's like, okay. He like, Let's oh, Furiosa because they, they, they see the uh, bullet farmer's light yeah. from his tank. Yeah. Because he's just driving around shooting at everybody. Yeah. yeah. They're and like, then, he uh, knows he's shooting at us, right? Like, <laughs> Well, they think it's a Modem Joe, too, who's coming for a them. A Morty. Oh. A Mort- what's it, what I who's keep- a Modem Joe? A Modem Joe. He's a guy I knew one time. <laughs> He lived in Tucson. He's a mortal. A, mo- a, a mortal fuck. Joe. Now, now I can't say right ever again. <laughs> I ruin everything for everyone. Um, yeah, because and this is the part where they, they Joe. use the song from... Uh, Requiem. Uh, Verdi's Requiem. Yeah, by Giuseppe... Verdi. Verdi, yeah. Yes. Some fucking Italian guy. They use it in the beginning of Battle Royale. Yes. Mm-hmm. We should do Battle Royale one day. Does that rank? That yeah, movie's fucking good. That's a good one. I never saw two. Heard it sucked. Yeah, it's I never saw two either. Some yeah. Defend yeah, but it's weird when you see the trailer song in the movie. Yeah. I'm sur- I was surprised by that. Yeah. And he's like, what he's like, Oh, he gets blinded. Yeah. By, <laughs> and, by and then he's like, shot. and then I guess he remembers the before times. When Lady in, Justice in was the blind, long, long before. In the long, long ago. <laughs> Actually, that is what they call it. The yeah. long, long ago. Uh, and he's like, I am the scales of justice. He starts monologuing <laughs> while Verdi's uh, Yeah, he's Requiem like, <laughs> brother cock, brother heckler, like, brother <laughs> cock. And he starts shooting like MP5s or something. And I like that Max is like, all right, I'm going to go take care of this. You guys uh, drive up and I'll meet you later. And then he just goes off yeah, into the he mist. Walks and off, then you just see an explosion. He walks off with two, two grenades and a wrench. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows what happened? <laughs> But he comes back covered in blood. And yeah. like, it's not his blood. But I like they've run out of water and he's pouring himself off with milk. Yeah. <laughs> which has not gone bad Mother's this entire milk. time. <laughs> Mother's milk. So Furiosa gives a little bit of her backstory, Newt mm-hmm. and Justin. Uh, apparently which we're going to get in the prequel movie with the, the Queen's. Uh, with yes. Queen's Ga- I was going to say Queen's Reich, but that's a band. Anna Taylor Joy. Mm-hmm. Yes. I like Anna Taylor Joy. Big eyes. She does. She's like a the real uh, fucking avid. What's that called? Alita Battle Angel girl. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. People kept joking that if uh, she marries some dude from Harry Potter, but he's also been in other movies whose eyes are clo- too close together. If they were to get married and have kids, they'd have the normal amount of eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. But okay. I don't think so either. Yeah. Um, 
Who were we at here? Oh, yeah. So she's telling her backstory. Like, she was from the green place of many mothers, but then she was kidnapped. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this is all while they're driving in that creepy swamp. He's like, Boring. What are, look- what are you looking for? And she's like, redemption. It's character building. There's Boring. been 10,000 no. action no, scenes. No, only chase scenes. <laughs> guns, guns, guns. <laughs> like, Robocop. Guns, guns, yes. guns. Uh, and then they come upon an obvious trap, and even <laughs> which has become a, me- a, yeah. a meme, a gif, and now. That's or he's bait. like, nah, that's bait. Yeah. <laughs> like oh, he it, knows it right the, away. The naked lady on top of the tower. Megan, the naked lady that they're Megan cleverly Gale. censoring, even though it's a rated R movie. I thought mm-hmm. that was bizarre. You see her butt. You can show that in PG 13. No, I'm just saying. Did we mention in Fear Street the only nudity was man ass? That's nah, a shame. Like, yeah. They should have shown man front. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz is front. You want to see something fearful? It's like you've got this Lenny Kravitz dick. I hope his his dick plays the guitar. (laughs) I hope every time we talk about Lenny Kravitz's dick, we show the video of Tony's face over the incident. American Wiener. (laughs) Our editor is going to go to HR and be like, "They want me to do this. I'm going to have to edit those." Do you ever see that picture of him wearing the uh, where they just keep making his uh, scarf bigger and bigger and bigger? (laughs) <laughs> He's like Johnny Depp. He's more scarf than man now. <laughs> uh, so it's a trap. Furiosa's like, no, it's cool. I'm it's like from trap. here. Yes. And then uh, all the old ladies show up and they're like, oh my God. It's they're my favorite characters. I like that they're like, oh, it's Furiosa. I'm like, wait, was, that was her name before? Like, I thought that was but, the name they okay, gave her. So Megan Gale goes down the rope and her lady hoo-ha. She has something covering it. Okay, because I was like, that would hurt. No, no, there's something in between her legs to prevent that from happening. I, I checked. You checked? Yeah. Frame by frame? Yes. And he's like, huh, this does nothing for me. Maybe those guys are right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're like, all right, we're here. Let's show them the green place. And they're like... Oh, fuck. No, like, yeah. fucking, like that swamp was the green place. Yeah. They're no, like, it's oh, the no. brown place, dummy. Yes, yeah, so and Furiosa takes this news very well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and and that was the part when um when George Miller was watching them because so mm-hmm. when when they do the um uh the score and stuff like that, mm-hmm. they show him a cut of the movie that's all uh, black and white because mm-hmm. they haven't finished a color correction yet, yeah. and that way it doesn't look weird or whatever and he liked that so much how it looked mm. he was like hey let's make a black and white version yeah. of this movie a the, black and chrome version yeah, yeah the chrome version and they made black and chrome which i left at the top of the stairs mm-hmm. which i'll take a picture of but i have i have this in 4k yeah and i have this in black and chrome which also came with the regular yeah. color edition so it's mm. the only movie i own twice and i don't own many blu-rays yeah well, you know, the movie did underperform, so it was smart of them to release a gimmicky one to make more money. Oh, I think it worked. Just oh, like, yeah. no, The Mist, the black and white version of The Mist, I bought that as well. I, around the same time, I got yeah. both of them. And that's the a Mist makes really more sense, because yeah. that was meant to be in black and white. Yeah. But no, I think this works in chrome as well. Nah, it looks yeah. like the colors are what gives this movie remember, like a personality. It, and it's George, the fucking jackhole who's wearing clown makeup. And as as George Miller said in it, it's not just black and white. They went and make sure and color graded it properly. That's true. Based on the values. Mm-hmm. And as Newt said, because so many things are cu- popped out because they did the lighting and mm-hmm. all the stuff properly, it looks really good in it. Yeah. But mind you, then you miss all like the big orange of the. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. The colors are so important. It's in this it's, movie it's cool. It. It's cool to watch. I look at like the the biggest moment that you go, wow, is when he comes out of those doors where the citadel is when yeah. he jumps out. That's like that. It that almost feels like. In the Wizard of Oz, when you go from her opening the door oh, to right, color, right. it had that same kind of feel to it almost. That's like the last time in a movie that I went, "Oh wow," you know. Mm. Uh, yeah. So then the uh, the old ladies are bonding with the wives mm-hmm. and talking about the the long long. Where ago. did you find these strange creatures? Like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I like they're like, yeah, those are satellites. They used to put on shows for people, mm-hmm. and the brides are just like, you know, what the fuck? They're like, yeah, they about? said everyone back then had a show. <laughs> well, they were just giving them out to anybody. Yeah. I'm really hopeful the end days come soon. <laughs> yeah, and then the, the one girl, the pale girl, mm-hmm. uh, she's all like, yeah, I'm pregnant. It's going to be gross. And the old lady's like, look at my plants. Also, I killed a bunch of people. And it's like, this is a weird way to write a bonding scene. <laughs> I always hope they are going to kiss. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, but the next day, their plan is to get on motorcycles and drive 100 and something miles 160 days mm-hmm. across the salt flats, which we think is it's the, the old ocean. ocean. Yeah. Yes. So they're going to be driving forever and not hit, like, the whole world's shitty. Yeah. yeah. 
and they go, let's but, but, do but, it. But like the, the wives have been there for a while. I assume they got something going on. Uh, no, I think they're just desert people. Uh, yeah, I think they're just like, they're like in that area, they're just kind of nomads. Yeah, they're just on their bikes and they Because she has all those different seeds and stuff that they've probably, she's probably uh, gotten yeah. from other places that they've yeah, they, been. Yeah, they, they just pick off stupid men that come yeah. to get the girl bait and then they just gotcha. take their stuff. Gotcha. And now that they have all the resources from the truck, they're like, we're going to just pile everything on the bikes and go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're like, yo, Max, you want a bike? And he's like, nah, I'm the lone cowboy trope. I can't go. And also he's afraid of letting them down. But then his, his ghost daughter that was retconned in by Newt's people it's not his it's daughter. like it's like hey dad i'm a strong lady and you got to avenge me girls rule that's what she says and, and then that... she said go back and watch the black widow episode yeah she said <laughs> she said hey dad <laughs> yeah <laughs> that you're good go friend... watch black widow that you're good... stunning and brave that your good friend tony from that was in that movie with you was in and he was like, what? what's happening <laughs> <laughs> Max is like i'm confused so anyway he has the change of heart and uh, he somehow catches up to them. Mm-hmm. And he's like, you're all stupid. And I probably should have told you that before you left. But since I had a change of heart, I'll let you know you're all stupid. There's nothing over there. Yeah. He's like, here's the new plan. We just go back. Yeah. Just turn around and go the other way. It's a good plan. Yeah. It's a good plan. It's not It's not defend it. The goal is to drive back the way they came. Yeah. Because the path up. is clear now. They're like, hey, they brought everyone through. Yeah. Well, we'll blow up the path. And then we'll go back to the... The base and they'll welcome us with open arms. Mm-hmm. Yes, because we have Nux with us and he's a war boy. And they're gonna, th- yeah, because that's how they let him pass. Is it? Look, Nux's job is just to bring back the rig mm-hmm. and the wives, you know. And then that way she'll get her redemption. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Song. And then this next scene, Zoe Kravitz is playing with the music box from mm-hmm. Road Warrior, and I know that, and Justin doesn't know that because he doesn't like good movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I thought that was a really fun reference. Yeah. It's not a distracting yep. reference, no. but if you like good movies like me and you like, you would get that and be like, oh, cool. That's from that really good movie, The Road Warrior, that Justin doesn't like because he's stupid. So anyway, Max really wants his Interceptor back, and uh, he never gets it back. No. No. I'm really depressed about it that. It gets crushed between two trucks. I know. And it's the most tragic death in the whole film, <laughs> I feel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. After, like, again, it was turned into a wagon, and it finally got rebuilt. Yeah, and mm-hmm. yeah I, I love, again. they're driving back, and all the, like, the bad guys are just hanging out, like, <laughs> oh, wait, is that the truck? Yeah, they were having, like, a siesta, like a nap time. Yeah. <laughs> And they're cleaning the one guy's giant hoof feet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why did that guy even go? Like he's like, you know what? I'm gonna be more of a burden if I go. Just let me know how it ha- that's how, how it we feel this weekend with you. Oh, thanks. Oh, <laughs> uh, so this scene is incredible. This whole chase is great. And mm-hmm. again, it's a mixture of CGI and live action yeah. effects because they added more cars digitally. Max and the old ladies, uh, they kick a bunch of acrobats, acrobats, acrobatists, acrobats, aquabats, the band. Max and the old ladies kicked the aquabats ass mm-hmm. uh, and they were all Cirque Soleil. Yeah. Uh, people I saw in the behind the scenes, like those are things that they have in their shows and they just strapped it to like cars. I feel like they're really impractical in like this universe. Everything about this world Everything is Everything about this world is really impractical. I feel like they just, the writers of this movie just sat down and said, what's the coolest looking, well, most impractical I thing mean, we can do? In terms of, you know, they kicked Max's ass when he first drove away by mm-hmm. pipe bombing him that way. Like, yeah. Yeah. spear bombs, like you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. But all yeah. the dudes look like they would be awesome, low budget slasher movie characters. Yeah. They have like cool masks yeah. and stuff. The one yeah. dude's got the baby head on the back of his thing with pins in it. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, yeah, the whole scene is awesome. And then um, what they did Guys was... have shields that are made of, like, stop signs and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So they blew up an actual truck. Yeah. Like, that explosion, I think, is real. Yeah, the mm-hmm. one when but he's swinging... all the cars around it are digital. Yeah. Because yeah. that would just be an insurance nightmare. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that scene is, like, incredible. And yeah. I like when Max is, like, flying around the he thing just, looking it, around. It feels like a, a little bit of, like, a Buster Keaton movie, almost, when he's yeah. doing that thing. It has a silent film look to it almost because yeah. it would be like charlie chaplin would be like you know amazed <laughs> yeah, that it's and happening and that kind of adds more to the black and I, chrome yeah exactly i don't know when this comes out in relation to pirates of the caribbean but i talk about in that movie that that movie makes good use of its setting mm-hmm. like it's not just they're having a fight scene in the set it's like they're using every part of this location which is like, why the first one's great but then the second and third one they're like let's have five more fight scenes that happen on a thing that's spinning around. Yeah. Yes, well, wait for that episode where we go into more detail about that. But I like how they're jumping from, like, vehicle mm-hmm. to vehicle and stuff. There's a lot of use of that. And the old ladies are awesome, and they're yeah. they're just doing cool shit. 
And the one crazy, lady gets it, stabbed in the neck. Yeah. Chainsaw uh, to the neck. Yeah, chainsaw to the neck. And then, like, uh, does she throw, like, a bunch of bullets on someone? Oh, she stabs the dude in the eye with a bullet, which I know <laughs> is your favorite part. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one cool thing about how they did this was, like, because they were filming in just the desert, mm. and they knew they were digitally manipulating the background, but there'd yeah. be some times where they were filming, and there'd be too many clouds. So the whole production crew were like, all right, we're driving 20 miles that way until there's no more clouds and we're going to keep filming the scene. I'm well, like, that, holy was, shit. Before we got sidetracked, that's why Charlize Theron and uh, uh, Shinzon didn't like each other. Was um, George Miller wanted to create actual tension between them so he wouldn't give them marks and he wouldn't give them the kind of like direction that they wanted because I guess they're both kind of method. He mm -hmm. just wanted them to kind of be at each other's throats the entire time. So they really didn't like each other. And I was like... That's awesome, but it's also like we're making a movie. Like yeah, their job yeah. is to act, you know. Well, sometimes it works. Like you know, Kubrick, I think did a great job on The Shining with Shelley Duvall. Yeah, she was fine. She was fine. Yeah, she was fine. I hear she's doing well. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you mean olive oil. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Shelley Duvall. Uh, you ever see I, that clip that someone made? They cut together all. She used to do this oh, fairy tale show, thing. Yeah. Oh, I remember and that. It was just, I'm Shelley Duvall, and it was just that like a hundred times. I remember the episode where Robin Williams was like the the frog, frog. prince, and yeah. he said, "Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am." We watched that in elementary school, and I knew what that meant, and right. I laughed, and like they called my parents and like asked what I was watching, and my mom, or yeah, it was my mom was like, "I don't know, something that said wham, bam, thank you, ma'am." I guess <laughs> that was her answer. <laughs> I have this eccentric fairy godmother. And well, mom and pops forgot to invite her to the christening, and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, she turned me into a frog. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the fight scene keeps going on. There's mm -hmm. too much to talk about. Like, it's just, just watch well, it. Well, the it's scene where awesome. he sees the flashback of the girl, puts his hand up, yeah. and catches the, the, the arrow. The dart. Because they show yeah. it, every time they show it, there's a very quick shot of the guy in the black hockey mask, mm -hmm. who's the one who does it. So yeah. when it finally happens and he goes like that, but it's not just went into his hand. It actually went into, it, his, into head, his head, and he yeah. just breaks it off. But when he gets in the van, he takes his hand and he slaps it against the side, <laughs> so the thing slides out. Uh, I like at some point the big fat guy dies, and they like put his giant foot on yeah. the pedal. Yeah, they blow. Up. The, the, his truck was the one that exploded. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Um, at some point, he gets into a fight with the do for here, yeah. which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so well, he'd thought? be good on those like rubber band things because he was in the the uh, Thunderdome. Where he they was, used to, yes. You know? I always thought the rubber dan rubber bands were a little bit too much. They're not in the video game. You don't get strapped up into. I love cores. that. Yeah, I wish it was in the video game. But the video game Thunderdome is like what you wanted the Thunderdome mm. to be. It's like pretty <laughs> insane. Justin, ain't we a pair? Mm. Yeah, I'm actually glad WWE is now done with their Thunderdome. The whole last year. You know, hold on, just we're, we're really screens. we're really deep in this. Can't we just get beyond Thunderdome? Can we get beyond talking about fucking modern wrestling? <laughs> Oh, Morton Joe and whatnot, they take uh, Zoe Kravitz as uh, a hostage. And I like how he goes like that. He's got one. Yeah. <laughs> and I think at, at this point, uh, what you call it, she's been stabbed. Yes. Uh, Furiosa. Furiosa. And she, or, like lungs are filling up with blood. The and his knife is awesome because it's got like a femur at the yeah. end of it. Yeah. Uh, but I like that she like gets like the hook. And she like just throws it on Morton Joe's face and just rips his fucking face well, off. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, because Max is on is in the other one. He's trying he, to get. He's everybody. fighting like the Doof Warrior. Yeah, and, everyone. and then everybody's kind of climbing across to uh, the other truck, mm. and then Rictus gets on the other truck and rips the rips fucking, the engine, fucking out. engine out. Uh, yeah, uh, she, yeah, because because Nux sends everyone over. And yeah. he's like, I guess I'll have to sacrifice. He's like, he's like, I'll blow it and meet up with you guys, but I mean, yeah. we don't know what's yeah. happening. Yeah. yeah, but she rips off a Madam Joe's <laughs> face. You're mm -hmm. doing it on purpose. Now. Yeah, which, mm -hmm. which which you don't see super good. But no, it's, it's fast enough to let you know what happened. Like the blood just like pours out. Emodium, Emodium John. Yeah, and I like that Zoe Kravitz like spits on him afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, this is the sad scene where he's like, uh, go, go. And then like he gets the overpass and he realizes he's but like But I like dead. he goes, witness me. Because yeah, for what, it makes sense now. Yeah. He's going to, you know, it, he died for something. Yeah. Witness me. So they really did flip the car and crash mm -hmm. it, but then they digitally added the overpass. Yeah. Oh, and this uh, is where the guitar. This is when the guitar <laughs> comes out. Uh, and, yeah. and the uh, steering wheel. 3D yeah. glasses out. Yeah. yeah. When they did this, though, and the behind the scenes, like they had like a rubber dummy and stuff in there, but there was a driver in it. Mm -hmm. uh, the rubber dummy came out and the director thought it was like the actor at one point. <laughs> so like there's like a scene where like it crashes and everyone's like tense for a few <laughs> seconds because they think the actor came out and died. I don't watch Friends, but did you ever see that clip from Friends? It was like in the end credits. They have like what's what's the dude's name? Ross. 
Okay. He's like carrying something up a, up steps, and they and they're they're on uh, uh, Brad Pitt's ex wife um, from Leprechaun, Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston. That's how you know. I, I don't know Leprechaun? what. Yeah. So they threw a dummy down the steps holding the box, and she freaks out because she thought it was really him, <laughs> and it was just a fuck with her. But I was like, they kept that in there, and somebody sent me that clip not too long ago. I was like, oh, that was funny. I never watched Friends. <laughs> I've told you my Friends story on this show before, right? I think so. How Do you know, the only, I've only watched Friends once. Okay. I used to work at the movie theater, September mm -hmm. 2001. Yeah. On the 10th, I came home one night from a late shift working, was watching Friends like the dude's got a monkey. Yeah. And I fell asleep on the sofa of my apartment, and the next morning I woke up because 9-11 happened. So I always equate Friends with 9-11 because it was the that's, last thing I saw. That's like the worst They thing are from New York. <sighs> anyway, uh, thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I better stay in the episode. <laughs> so Max realizes Furios is dying. Yeah. He stabs her with the femur thing mm -hmm. to get the blood out of her lungs. And then he donates her blood because he's a universal, universal donor. donor. Yep. Set up and pay off. Mm -hmm. uh, they go back to the Citadel. In the version I watched, uh, Max uh, was a <laughs> universal sperm donor. It was a very weird movie. Also a wolf? Yeah, he was a wolf. <laughs> yeah. Good old Duke Doberman. <laughs> So yeah, I like when they go back to the Citadel and they just like have a Morton Joe on the car mm -hmm. and they like reveal it and then like everyone's like real thrilled about it. Yeah. And even the war boys are like, oh, thank God. Yeah. Uh, but I like when they look at Eric, the actor, and I, I keep like in my head, I'm like, oh, they're going to throw him off the cliff. But then they never do. And I get real upset about he's it. He's like, uh oh, they're coming for me. <laughs> yeah. next. I think he's like, yeah, let them up. Because everyone's like, let them up, yeah. let them up. So they all go up. Max climbs on the platform, and then he's suddenly not on the platform mm -hmm. anymore. I guess he jumped back down. Yeah, yeah well, he didn't want Furious to stop it. He's like, go yeah. up there and yeah, and create a new world. And plant those seeds. Yep. He's, like, he's like, I could stay and be happy forever, but I'm the lone cowboy trope, so I have to go because. He's a conduit to Or maybe he was just going to go get his interceptor. Yeah, like, a new one. I'll be back. I just want to fix up my interceptor. Yeah. And that is Mad Max The Fury Road. I like how the they should have called it. For E Road. Because it's the fourth one. You're an embarrassment. Well, you shut the fuck up anyway. <laughs> I, I do like uh, the, as the thing's going up and it obstructs the frame and then it it causes the credits. Yeah. That was kind of cool. Uh, so, yeah, I love this movie. Yeah, me too. This movie's great. It's just a, a great addition to the Mad Max franchise, which is already great. Right, Newt? I agree. I think it's the cream of the crop. Okay, macho man. <laughs> I think it's the best. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great. Uh, I would like to see another Man Max movie. I know mm -hmm. they're doing a Furiosa prequel, but I yeah. don't give a shit about that. I don't care about it. No, origin. I think it'll be cool. I think uh, it's the same people writing and producing it. I don't know who's directing it. Yeah, but like, who cares about her origin? Eh, it could be interesting. No, because people said the same thing. They're like, oh, who wants another Mad Max movie after Beyond Thunderdome? Well, yeah, I want to see him go on another adventure. I don't want them to go backwards. But this could be another adventure. You're going to see the rise of of uh, Immortal Joe. Did I get it right that time? <laughs> no, no, you got it wrong in a different way. <laughs> but no, I would like another Mad Max before Tom Hardy. It's the Hardy. story of my life, just getting it wrong in different ways. We're, we're getting multiple <laughs> Venom movies. We can't get another fucking Mad Max. Jeez, well, I guess Venom made more money. We went to uh, Red Lobster <laughs> on Sunday with James, and uh, they, they have the big lobster tank in there, and I kept thinking about that scene because it's literally the only scene in that movie that I remember. Where he like, takes a yeah. lobster tank. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and definitely check out Mad Max. Mm -hmm. Any any final thoughts, guys? Nothing. Oh, I'm going to go watch the other three Furry Road movies. Oh, there's three. <laughs> furry Road has three. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Furry Load. I'm going to go uh, Yif with Newt. It's Yif, right? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm well, just... I'm just going to be here and wait for the radiation to kill me, so... While I'm doing that, feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and go on Patreon... A lot of content on Patreon. We're up to like 400-something patrons. Really, really good use of our time, dude. Why do I imagine that Tony does like the witness me, but that he sprays spray cheese in his face? <laughs> <laughs> the cheese? <-a. laughs> Don't forget to mail us stuff, but if you want to send us something to sign and send back, please include return shipping. Right, you better return! <laughs> <laughs> Shipping and call our voicemail line. If you're listening to the podcast version of the show, you get the voicemail. Imagine if someone just joined the pre the, the 
premiere now. And they just see this and they're like, you know what? No. no. <laughs> yes, the podcast version gets the voicemails at the end. Uh, but if you're also a patron, you get just the voicemail video version, which people really people are really liking the voicemail segment because a lot of you people are crazy. <laughs> there was one guy, I think it was Jason Goldberg called the show, Justin. I think you would have enjoyed his. Oh, call. that would have been cool. <laughs> yeah, he gave me some advice. Mm. He said the Patreon was a bad idea. Yes. And that we should do more Pokemon, Pokemon movies. Pokemon. Yes. Yeah. Shocked that Jason Goldberg had those opinions. Pacion. Anyway, that is all from us here. Goodbye. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.